How do you measure the power of the sun with just a greasy spot on a piece of paper? Watch this video and find out. I'm Paul Doherty, and today I'm going to show you how to build an oil spot photometer which will allow you to compare the brightness of two light sources. When I put a grease spot in the middle of a card, the grease spot allows light from one side of the card to leak through to the other side of the card. Meanwhile, the non-grease spot scatters the light from the front side of the card. When I'm closer to the light on the back side of the card, the light coming through the center is brighter than the light surrounding it. If I get closer to the light on the front side of the card, now the light scattered off the front is brighter than the light coming through from the back side. So I see a dark spot in the middle. When the light coming through from the back is equally bright to the light scattering off the front, you know that the two light sources have equal brightness at the location of the card. I have placed two 60 watt incandescent bulbs one meter apart between their centers. When I find the place where the grease spot exactly disappears, I know that the brightness of each bulb is the same at the position of the card. And it's at 50 centimeters. It's exactly the same distance from the front bulb as it is from the back, which means that each bulb is the same brightness as the other. So what would happen if I added two equally bright lights on one side? What do you think is going to happen? Where will I have to move the card so it's the same brightness with two lights on one side and one light on the other? Well, let me find out. So I'll move the card until I find a place where the spot vanishes, and that's around 40 centimeters from one and 60 centimeters from the other. Is that what you guessed? You can use this technique to compare the brightness of two unknown light sources. The makers of this compact fluorescent lamp claim that it only uses 18 watts of power, and yet that it gives as much light as the 60 watt incandescent on the other side. If that's the case, then when I turn it on and it warms up, I can use my card to find out if it's giving the same amount of power. Now, right now, I have to be slightly closer to the fluorescent than to the incandescent, which tells me it's not as bright. But yet, as it warms up, it's getting brighter and brighter, and I have to move the card until I find out that it's near 50 centimeters away. So that we just used our grease spot photometer to find out that the 18 watt compact fluorescent gives out as much light as the 60 watt incandescent. To do this activity, you'll need a white piece of paper. I choose to use an index card because it's a little stiffer to hold. You'll need some cooking oil. Almost any cooking oil will work. And what I do is I wet a finger in the cooking oil and make a grease spot in the middle of the paper. Now that you have your oil spot photometer, you'll need a meter stick. And you'll need at least two light bulb holders, maybe more depending on what you want to compare. Place the centers of the two bulbs a meter apart. You can now compare the brightnesses of different light sources. You can try incandescent, compact fluorescent, light emitting diode, halogen, and even the sun. So grab your grease spot and go out and compare brightnesses of light in the world. We can use our oil spot photometer to compare any two light sources. I can compare this 200 watt light bulb with the power of the sun and use that to measure the power of the sun. So when my card is closer to the sun, you see the oil spot, which is the light of the sun, is brighter than the surroundings, which is reflected light from the bulb. When I'm close to the bulb, the oil spot is darker than the surround. At some distance, the brightness of the oil spot and the brightness of the surround is equal. 
when I measure the distance from the center of the card to that position, which is eight centimeters, and knowing that eight centimeters from a 200 watt bulb is the same brightness as 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers from the sun, I can calculate the power of the sun.